Hello, this is Eva Looney from Howard Forums, and I'm doing a comparison of a fake N95 8 gig compared to a real N95 8 gig. First, the fake one. Here is the uh, Carl Zeiss lens. Uh, even though it isn't really a Carl Zeiss lens, but it says it is, it has all the regular markings on it that would indicate that it is, and it looks very similar to the f to the real one. In different order, but whatever. Go inside. Similar to the fake to the real one. Only a couple extra stickers. Not really too much of a difference there. Put the battery in. And it's a little bit of a struggle to get it in, but not really that bad. Put on the battery cover. Battery cover come, comes off quite easily. <laughs> Turn it on, and it makes a weird sound, which I don't like. And the screen isn't very usual for an N95. Notice a little bit of a difference with the startup screen, a little bit of an error, a little bit faulty actually. Not faulty, just uh, shoddy, I should say, that's the proper word. Alright, now the real one. Battery goes in a lot smoother. Put the backlight on, it stays on. For some strange reason, the battery's turning on on its own. Sorry, the phone's turning on on its own as soon as they put the battery in. I think it might have something to do with me putting the battery inside of the fake one. A little bit unsettling. Notice the difference in the startup screen. A lot smoother. If you saw it up close, you would notice that the this looks a lot better. The screen on the real one's way, way better. It has... This one has thousands more colors than this one this one does this one might only be 4096 colors I'm not 100% sure here's the menu system on the fake one eh, it looks pretty familiar because it looks pretty much like a series 40 phone this phone actually looks very very much like a real N95 uh, almost to the to, to the T uh, but when you turn it on, there's major differences. No Symbian. Yeah, it's almost like they took a Series 40 uh, operating system and they put it in an N95, which nobody wants. Here's the menu system for the real N95. Many differences. Much different look. And it looks better. This one has no tools menu anywhere. Maybe under the settings, but not the right tools that we're looking for. The real one does. And you've got uh, a shortcut to Bluetooth and, of course, Wi-Fi, which uh, this one does not have. Uh, in fact, uh, this one might not even have uh, Edge, let alone 3G. Probably just GPRS. I haven't put a SIM card in to check it out, but that's what I would imagine anyway. I was going to uh, put some music on uh, just to check out what the speakers are like. I Bluetooth the song over to it, and for some reason, I press play, and it says invalid file format, which doesn't really make much sense to me since seeing as it's an MP3, but whatever. Next. A curious thing that I noticed is that even though it's marked as the N95 8 gig, uh, it says under the memory clearly 243 megabytes, which is uh, nothing compared to 8 gigs, so that's blatant false advertising, even if it is a knockoff phone. One thing I noticed about the fake one, which is a small plus, is that it's a lot lighter. Not a lot, but, you know, noticeably lighter. When we're talking about cell phones here, a little is a lot. So, yeah, that's a small upside. Of course, it does a lot less as well, so who really cares? On the fake one, you try and use the shortcut for the camera, and for some stupid reason, it doesn't work. So, in other words, if you want to get into the camera, you got to go through the menu system or some other way, and go into the camera. Now, the stupid thing is that uh, the zoom doesn't work. If there even is a zoom, I haven't been able to find it yet, and it's, if it's this hard to find, then um, it's probably not even really worth using. So, 
I don't like the sound that it makes. Of course, that might be able to be changed as well. Judging by that sound you heard there, as well as the startup sound and a couple other uh, uh, peeps that have come from this phone, uh, it's not a very good sounding phone either. Also, the lights on the side, uh, they're a lot brighter and they're blue. If you go to the other one, number one, you press the shortcut button for the camera and it turns on. The lights, they turn on, whoops, they turn on, but they're not nearly as bright and they're also white as well, so. So, you can zoom with it. You know, it's not a very good comparison, but zoom in and out. So, a lot more obvious as well. Also, when you take a picture, it has a better flash and, of course, a much better picture and not the annoying sound. Another thing of worthy of note is that on the fake one, uh, the screen is misaligned. You can't tell as well because it now says... Uh, 12.52 on the clock, but when there's a zero in there, it uh, clearly has a space where the a signal bar is going into the clock, so yeah, another small quirk with this one. It only, Like I said, I believe it only has a 4096 color screen. Another thing I didn't really like with this is that the menu system is really slow, annoyingly slow too. You compare it with the real one. Here's the uh, other menu for it. It moves a lot faster. Even though it's a lot different menu system, I believe there's different sort of programming or whatever that you can get for this, for the right menu system. Uh, this one's clearly going a lot faster. <clears throat> Last but not least, uh, or maybe least actually, it's not really that important, the turn off. Uh, that is not a Nokia sound. It also takes a little bit longer to turn off as well. Here's me. Turning off my no this one now, the real one. Can't get to the button. Having some trouble here. There we go. Yeah, that one turns off a lot faster without the annoying sound. So yeah, that's basically it. Those are the comparisons of the fake N95 8 gig and the real one. So uh, on the outside, as you can tell from looking at it right now, uh, they look almost exactly the same. However, uh, one um, one on the inside is not what it seems. So uh, if you can avoid the fake one, uh, do it. Have a nice night. Bye-bye.